going to be your driver and guide out here today. Before we get started, let's do a quick volume check. If you can hear my voice loud and clear, can you give me a thumbs up right now? Oh, awesome, that's about everybody, but a wonderful dog named Willow and a South African it's cheetah. Cute. Now this cheetah cub here, just a couple years old, but when he was born here at the park, his mom was not properly nursing and taking care of him. So he ended up being hand raised by our zookeepers and paired with a doggy mentor slash best friend. They grew up together, they played together, but you can see them doing their number one favorite activity, nap time. Cheetahs may be famous for holding the world record for speed on land. Cheetahs can run up to 70 miles per hour, but they're also big cats and they spend about 20 to 22 hours a day sleeping. That is a cheetah's number one favorite activity. Around out here we're going to talk a lot about family and community groups with our animals. On the passenger side we have a family that is currently expanding right now. Take a look. You are welcome to stand up here for a minute and see how many baby flamingos you can find. We are right at the tail end of our nesting season for our greater flamingos. Right over the wall you'll see those little mud nests, little volcano shape to them. There's one standing up over an egg right now. And then out there all of the babies are the fluffy gray ones. At last count earlier this week, we had and one of them is right here next to the waterfall. And for any of you uh, movie buffs on board, I want you to think through your Hollywood movies for a minute and tell me, can you think of a single movie where vultures get the role of the good guys? The only one I can think of is the original Disney's The Jungle Book. At least they got a song and dance number. Lips and Waterbuck on the move as we speak. Most everybody out here, they follow their stomach around all day long. So these guys, when they are fully grown, they are tall enough to reach right into a second story bedroom window. No problem. I'll stop right here for just a minute. If you wanted to stand up and get a better picture, you're welcome to. Whenever I stop on tour completely, you are welcome to hood and when it comes to survival. And any animal that is dependent on is called a keystone species. A keystone species means if that animal was to disappear from moon, our dromedary camel. His species is originally from Africa, from the desert. Dune is well suited to these hot temperatures we get. international efforts a lot of times with their breeding. But we're going to change the landscape for just about a hundred California mule deer that call this part home. And they come and go as they please. You're likely to see them next to the elephant area if you go visit our elephants later today. Old on those two. Born a day on average here at our park. So lots of birthdays to celebrate and lots of babies to find. <laughs> uh, some of them are very seasonal. Our deer up here on the wheelchairs to the right. Don't forget to check out your photos. You guys want to check them out? No, we didn't take any
this sounds really dirty. <laughs> To the top and ride this elevator here. <laughs> so beautiful here, look at the streets. Guys, let's go in here. Oh, okay. I want to see all the duckies. Why is there so many duckies here? Am I right, mommy? Yeah. Hey, duckies. Go in the water. Some of the Oh, wait. that's better.
most of you. Snake. Snake. Look at that. And she's <laughs> horrified by this thing. I don't know why so many people are horrified by snakes. Yeah. They're so friendly. <laughs> I don't know if this venomous or not, because I can't tell about the difference about the cheeks where they put the venom in a cheek. See? Put venom in a cheek. I think it's venomous. So you're gonna have nightmares. I can't wait to see this in my memories. <laughs> We shit. Let's go. Let's go home. See you next time! Oh my gosh, it's me. Thank <laughs> you. 